everybody, it's Renee from Tailspin Farm. Welcome to my channel. Today I am hopping on to do an unboxing. Um, this is a product that I purchased actually just a couple days ago. It's already here. Um, and for those of you who have been here for a while, I have been working on an outdoor rabbit colony for my Angor rabbits now since we've moved in a year ago. And I'm hoping that this is going to complete it. Um, we are actually out there right now and you're going to see bunnies running behind me. I've got one sneaking up on me right now. And um, so I, we moved into this place a year ago and we are on five acres with, um, with cornfields and woods that surround us. And I have a, a separate barn. The chickens are in there too, but I have a separate area for my rabbits now. And my goal was to have an outdoor area for at least some of them. Um, and I have slowly been working on that. They have been able to come out here um, during the day. I'm able to, I have the fencing up and I have it secured and Two weeks ago, I got um, pea stone put down. I've got about, I don't know, four or five inches of pea stone on the ground. Um, and I apologize, it is windy out today. Uh, so hopefully this, you can hear me all right, but I wanted to do this outside. I didn't want to do it inside and have to carry it out here. So um, yeah, so I've been working towards getting this complete and with the hopes of um, having some of the bunnies those are sisters. Um, that is Marshmallow and then Mitt just ran behind the tree. Um, they are actually the two that were living in the garage together um, until we found out that they were jumpers and they're high jumpers too. So um, they weren't able to live in the little area that I had. So they've been actually in cages recently. But I have been using this space during the day for some of my rabbits. I typically switch out boys and girls. I'll put um, three or four boys out here at a time and uh, three or four girls out here at a time. And so with this new addition to it, I'm hoping to be able to let these two girls live out here um, full time permanently. I will see. Um, I have to, I, I'm going to put this together and we'll see how it goes. I am always cautious. Um, again, we live near woods. We have not had any predator issues so far. Um, we do have chickens back here, but they are um, closed in at night and we have not had any daytime issues so far. Um, and I wasn't concerned up until a couple weeks ago when we were woke during the night by a horrible, horrible um, screaming sound. I've heard coyotes before. It was not a coyote. And so um, we had three nights of this wailing outside our bedroom window, which our bedroom side of the house is right on this side of the pen out here, not too far away. And last week, the last night that we heard it, it was right outside our window. Very, very close. I'm not sure. Um, Hubby went out all three nights to see if he could figure out what it was. We did come to the conclusion that it's a fox. Um, it's its mating call and it's a horrible sound. And so now I have been hesitant um, and a little bit cautious, but I'm hoping that this is going to be the answer to what I needed out here. Um, I did not just want to put rabbits out here with just like a roof for them to go under for weather and not have a place where they could safely be shut at night. Um, I am going to put up the fence here is um, most of it is five feet or six feet tall and then there's one side that's like four feet um, back over here and so I am going to put up um, the chicken uh, oh, fencing that's not what you call it but I have chicken fencing over top of our chicken run I'm gonna do that over here too just to um, secure it. It doesn't really keep anything out per se. I mean, you would get tangled in that very easily. Um, so maybe it would keep predators out. It's more to keep the chickens inside um, their little area there. So I am gonna put something like that up on the short side of here. And um, so all of that being said, we're gonna 
pull this out. I already did open it because I wanted to see if I needed any tools and I did. Um, it comes flat. This is from the company Omelet and this is a rabbit hutch and this is uh, an igloo um, is what they call it, an igloo hutch. And it fits two rabbits. Um, it could be securely closed at night. I'm waiting for the bunny to run into my camera stand. He's back there, or she's back here playing. Um, it can be securely closed at night. And um, that was my main concern was keeping um, rabbits out here. Even with a cage, um, raccoons are extremely destructive and they use their little fingers to rip things apart. We've seen it with chickens before. Um, where they've ripped wire up and things like that. And so this I think is gonna be my answer to being able to keep rabbits out here full time 24 seven. Um, and these will be the two girls that will stay out here because they have lived together before and I know that they get along. Um, so I am gonna pull this out. I probably, I don't know if I'm gonna, I may film this and then speed through it. I won't talk through it. Um, but I am gonna pull it out real quick just to show you the pieces and then um, come back in on the end and show you what it looks like. So let's, you do need, um, I did pull out the little screw pack and the directions. It doesn't look too difficult. You do need just a screwdriver and um, the instructions are fairly clear. I'm gonna pull you back just a second. Okay, so the instructions are fairly clear. This again comes flat. It is um, all plastic and it has a. I'm pretty sure, well, the indoors, I'm not as worried about them in the winter as I am the summertime. Um, but it comes with a feed bowl. And I know you can't see me, but that's all right. You don't need to see me all the time. <laughs> comes with a water bottle and there's a unique system. I'll show you that holds the water bottle inside the, um, the little hutch. And it has the hay manger um, also that gets hooked on there. So again, this is all just flat pieces.
the directions are all pictures which are perfect for me. I'm a visual person. I typically don't read anything. I have to see something in order to put it together. So it was super easy for me. Um, you just have to look at the pictures and all of the drill or the nail holes or screw holes are all there. Once you get it put in together, put into place where it needs to be, you just screw it in and it's all set to go. I'm gonna um, pause this, grab my camera and do a little tour of it for you. And um, I'll show it to you on the inside too. And I am trying, I'm in the process right now, trying to get a coupon code from Omelette. I will put that down below in the description if I do, um, if you would like one, but I will keep you updated on how this works. These also come with um, runs attached to them. So you actually, and they're predator proof runs. Um, if this works well for me, I may end up getting a second one to put in our yard and just see how it goes. Um, but they're very well put together. These are going to be great in the winter um, for weather and things like that also. And um, yeah, so let me pause this and I'll just kind of show you the inside of it real quick. Okay guys, so my uh, camera was having issues on the day that I did the inside video. So I'm just going to do it real quick and add it to the end of the video. Um, again, the rabbits have been living in here for three days now. They're doing great. But I wanted to show you um, how these are put together, set up. Um, front, obviously, the doors have this little mechanism here. You pull it up and you can lock it, which is super nice. It has ventilation here. And I'm just keeping it opened um, for them. They have been going in and out of it, which you saw in the video this morning. And then this is the cool thing that I like, especially for cleaning, is you turn the handle. There's your water, your hay manger, and the tray just slides out um, right here. And you pull it right out to clean it. Um, so that is the inside of one. Good morning, everybody. This is just an update. Um, it is day three with the igloo rabbit hutch out in our colony area. Um, the beginning of this video, I showed most of the unboxing of it and putting it together. Talked a little bit about it. Um, I have put two of my French Angora sisters out here um, to live in this. And so it's day three, like I said. Um, and they are doing well. I was a little bit nervous um, and wasn't sure how they would do. So French Angoras, you guys have seen them on my channel. They're, they're fairly big. There's one of them back there. Um, they are mainly fairly big when they're full of fur, um, but they are a larger rabbit. And so I wasn't sure how, and these two have lived together before again their sisters um they were in my little colony area inside the garage where i had put up a fence for them um and so they are used to living together that's the one thing you want to make sure when you do put rabbits together that they get along you want to kind of monitor that so i knew putting them out here that they would be fine um but i wasn't sure putting them inside here for the night um again this is what we needed out here for predators and things like that. I wanted a safe place um, and I didn't feel like a cage would be that safe place um, even with it being locked up and things. And so um, they have spent two full nights out here um, and they did well. Uh, I haven't had any issues at all. I've been checking on them and I actually have caught them inside here during the day. They're using the water in there. They're using the hay manger in there. Um, and last night when I came, I am putting them in around nine o'clock. I'm getting them out by six. Um, last night when I came out to put them in, um, one of them charged right in. So that was nice. Um, usually I have to do a little tag game with them to try to get them. Um, but yeah, she ran right in. So that was good to see. I'm hoping as we get used to this, that, um, nighttime will just be where they put themselves in there. Um, and so Marshmallow and Min are doing well out here. Um, 
I, so this one is just the um, hutch. You can see her going in now, that's marshmallow. Um, this is just the hutch without the run. They do sell the run attachments. I think they start at 60, I might be wrong on that. And then you can get bigger ones. Um, our intention was to use it in the colony area that we already had fenced in to use. Um, and so that's why I did not purchase the run. I'm going to give it a little bit more time, but I am very likely going to purchase another one of these with the run, um, or with, uh, they also have, um, a fenced in walk-in run that you can get to put these in. And so those are the options. And I very well may do that because I have been doing this for almost 20 years. I've been raising Angor rabbits constantly for almost 20 years and cage cleaning day is not my favorite day. Um, this I showed you the other day. It just, you pop open the back door, slide out the um, tray in the bottom, clean it, and you're done. Um, and so that is what I am most enthused about because today is cage cleaning day and I have lots of cages to go clean. So that is my least favorite thing about raising the rabbits, but I've been doing it for a very long time. And so this is going to kind of revolutionize that. Um, of course, Willow's out checking on the rabbits with me today. So that's what you're hearing in the background. Um, and so, yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, I would recommend these for rabbits um, and I am probably going to purchase more of them. So I'm going to have links down below um, if you're interested or if you have any more questions um, about these, anything that I did not cover. I'll let the emergency vehicle go by. Um, anything I did not cover, please put it in the comments down below. Um, I am hoping to have coupon codes for you. Um, your first order is automatically 5% off when you sign up for emails. Um, and anything over $100 is free shipping. So um, there is that. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a great day and I hope you're creating something. Thanks.